A king to this country on a rickshaw chained up to your New York City turnstile. Oh my empire, look at what you see today. This is Trinity. Time to check the oracle. Whatever TV channel this lays on, that would tell my fate for today. Oh god, that's a bad omen. I don't know, maybe I can vex this omen by going outside and doing yoga. Hello, what's this? Hey man, let me out of this prison. Please let me out in a basket. I don't know how to get out myself. Uh, oh. oh, I've been dragged under there for about three months. Why couldn't you have just gone out the sooner? I don't know how to take it off. Anyways, what brings you here? I came to reclaim a... Uh, line? <sighs> treasure. I... I came to reclaim a treasure that is coming for you. That you have hidden in the basement of this household. Okay, look, no, back the fuck up. What are you talking about? Okay, let me explain. I was born on a Greek ship traveling to England. I was separated from my mother and father at birth, but my father, before he left, taught me the ways to be an independent piglet. So I learned how to steal apples from barrels, and oranges from barrels, and uh, bananas from barrels. Basically, just to steal fruit from barrels. I was infamous in the latest village I came to, as the wild pig that eats all the fruit. Until I became a local celebrity and appeared on the several chat shows. The, uh, Hey, hey, what are you doing? Oh, I'm sorry. I got so bored I started taking up squash. One of the gifts I received from the many tourists was a Moroccan who gave me a fabulous treasure that has been cherished because there's a pig engraved on it. it I, did I mention that it had a pig engraved on it? I forgot to mention it. I treasured that gold thing and then kept it near my bed because it's a, it's a very important memorabilia. That is, one day someone stole it. Since then I have looked far and wide for my treasure. And I think you may have it. First off, how did you make it to America? Second of all, do I look like a fucking detective to you? I am a delivery man. Yes, well this show is wildly inconsistent anyway. Why don't you just give it a try? You may really like the format. Hmm. You know, Chef, this could be a good excuse to find yours or crime scene van for once. I mean, I was just using it as a court hanger. Okay, I shall do it. That is great to hear, my friend. How about we have a little drink before we begin? No thanks, swine flu pity. Last time I had a beer, I wound up naked on a bus station, sucking off an old guy in Riyadh. I... I don't know how to respond to that. Twenty dollars for a blowjob? No. Okay. So you're saying that the area where I throw all my shows down is the area where the treasure is hidden? Yes, it is true, my friend. Mommy must be very careful. I am told there are many beasts under this place. This was your step. So we went under the cave, the secret tunnel where all these things happen. I guess. Here we were. And need to stay all well. Wow, I didn't even realize how much treasure was down here. A World War II hat, a new Coke bottle, and a light bulb from the Titanic. Hey, 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 I know you're excited, but let's not forget why we are here. Fine, you don't want to be rich. Oh, look, I can see my reflection. And the treasure. Whoa, 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 what? Oh, my this is this is treasure. I will not waste any more time. Oh, reverse noise, reverse noise, slow motion. Ah, it's beautiful, isn't it? My lovely engravings. Oh, well, wait a second, wait a second. What about the gold on it? There's no gold. There's no engravings on it. What is it supposed to be? Are you lying to me? Are you on drugs? 
Well, those bananas did look kind of rotten now that I think about it. Wait, so if I'd never heard it, Teresa, what was I instead? Oh, my whole life is a lie. I believe this stupid gaming for nothing. I chased it all the way around the world for nothing. My life is in confusion as a lie. You lie. <laughs> well, don't be so upset. I mean, you could say your life story for a couple of books and a suck off. <laughs> my life, my life, my life. <laughs> okay, seriously, you need to calm down. Any more noise complaints, and I'll be sent to the brig. <laughs> when you can't beat them, join them. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, cruel world. <sighs> what a cruel, cruel faith life brought upon you. I will not let this man die in vain. I shall draw his engraved little thing with him as paint. And now we gather to unite to celebrate the life of a famous pig and a beloved friend. Let me just get this. That's good man. His house in the South Beach shall go to the revels, while his apartment complex in Chicago shall go to Hannibal Buress. Good night, sweet prince. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you're dead and I'm not. Now that he's dead, I wonder what his legacy shall be. What's this? It's a big fat base of the pig. Hey, honey! I found dinner! That pig teaches us all an important lesson about life and how precious it really is. You never know how long you have, but you have to remember to make the most out of every moment. Okay, time to die. <laughs>